YouTube, Chick Run Shinobi here with a review of the Kamen Rider Drive TK10 Kamen Rider Chaser. So this is the next step in Chase's evolution. He was Proto Drive, he got corrupted into Machine Chaser, and now he's Kamen Rider Chaser. Cool. So this was released in May 2015 for the usual TK price of 3200 yen. Included with the figure is the Shingo X, which we'll take a look at, and the signal for uh, Kiken, the little missile guy. Uh, he is finally, finally released. I uh, uses Mox, uh, smaller style of packaging, since it doesn't come with a whole lot of bulky stuff or any bulky tires or anything like that. The back does advertise Trideron and Kamen Rider Mach and the Ride Booster set, which I am not getting. FYI, I got a couple questions about that. I'm not getting the Ride Boosters and the Ride Crosser set, since it shows, uh, the Ride Chaser. So pretty simple box. But enough of that. And here's a quick look at the Shingo Axe included with the figure. Uh, not all that painted. It's got a little bit of purple right here. But other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. There's a lot of molded in detail, but with uh, all the paint missing, it's kind of not that pleasurable, pleasurable to look at. And here's the Signal Keyken uh, for Kamen Rider Mach. As well as you could also put it on Kamen Rider Chaser, and we'll demonstrate that later. On both figures, but uh, here it is right here. Glad this finally got a release since it's the only one of Mock Signals that has yet to be released. So he's finally got his full set. And finally, here is Chaser himself, and I actually really like the way that the figure turned out. Chaser's design was, I don't want to say off-putting, but it was really weird at first uh, when you compare him to Drive and Mach, but it most certainly grew on me uh, quite a bit, and it honestly has become one of my favorite designs of the show. Um, I just kind of like the the off gray, milky white, almost a tinge of blue, uh, depending on what lighting he's in. Uh, look that the, the the characters got going on, and the the figure chooses a more kind of light gray. I guess you can say it has a light, slight tinge of blue. Maybe I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's a weird color that's hard to describe. But um, it, it looks really nice, and the purple uh, accents on it are just really, really great. And uh, I like the way that they did the head sculpt. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, I, without a lot of like the, the gloss and stuff that the suit has, it loses a little bit of the charm. But they did a pretty good job on it. I do like the little head crests up here, and they are soft, uh, rubbery plastic, so you shouldn't have to worry about those breaking. But um, it's a good quality figure. There's no loose joints or anything like that. Uh, posability is pretty solid. There's nothing hindering his articulation whatsoever with the uh, kind of like formula being a complete mess in terms of articulation. Chaser is a very sleek, fluid design that uh, translates well into an action figure. Uh, back here you do have Chaser's little tire. Um... It just pops right off, and it is one of the few that are of this size. It could fit well on formula, uh, probably, even though it wouldn't really do anything worthwhile. But um, you have that going, and of course you can attach the signals from Mach on there as well. So now he's Chaser Key Ken. We haven't seen that used, but I imagine he probably could use them. So you can attach those. You can also go ahead and take your tires. We've got Midnight Shadow right here. And you can attach all of the tires onto his back too, which admittedly looks really cool. Um, I said the same thing back in uh, Machine Chaser's review. That um, a lot of the tires, especially some of the wilder looking ones like uh, uh, Max Flare, Midnight Shadow, Funky Spike, uh, end up looking pretty cool on the back of Chaser here. The benefit of Midnight Shadow is that it being purple matches with the rest of Chaser, even though it's a different shade of purple. Uh, it still matches pretty well, so I like the way uh, that all looks. Mock Driver right down there. Nothing too crazy. But like I said, a nice simple and fluid design that does translate incredibly well into a figure. Now you can take Machine Chaser's uh, E-Circular and attach it onto his back. It just pegs right into that slot just like uh, on Machine Chaser. However, uh, Machine Chaser had this uh, little peg system 
that it plugged into, because his sat a lot lower on his back than Rider Chaser's does. So uh, it just kind of flies down like that. So it's not all that functional. You can't really do the wings or anything like that because it just sits way too high up to be um, practical and then it just kind of falls down and looks really weird. You can use it still, but um, one thing I do want to point out is that if you start taking this apart, things get weird because I don't remember how this toy functions. If you start taking this apart, there is no slot right here to peg this in like there was on Machine Chaser. So you don't really have anywhere to to put it. Uh, you can just sort of dismantle everything completely and rely on the, the hand peg right here, the little handle. So you can do that and it just sort of falls apart. So it doesn't work all that well, unfortunately. Um, I still think it would have been really cool if he uses this in the show, since he probably still has access to some viral cores. Um, but I don't know if that's going to happen, since he hasn't used anything except his normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill tire. And his good old Shingo Axe, which does fit okay in the hand. You can wield it from down there. And thanks to the fact that the figure actually has some pretty tight joints, at least mine does, you can get some pretty decent poses with it and he does hold it up uh, fairly well. So that is always nice since I've gotten quite a few that have weak fingers that just sort of make the weapons fall. So all in all, that's really nice. And of course you can take the key can signal and attach it to Mach. Just pop off his rider tire and pop on the key can signal tire thingy which um, is always kind of a pain with Mach. He's not the most friendly when it comes to attaching these. So there we go. There is the key can signal on Mach's shoulder. Finally. So overall, Kamen Rider Chaser is a great addition to the TK line. Of course, you have access to all of Mach signals and all of drives tires to attach on there as well which uh, overall just uh, really works for the figure and a lot of them do end up looking pretty cool um, it's unfortunate that you can't use the e-circular all that well because I think that would look really freaking cool but uh, alas there's not a whole lot of ways you can successfully uh, use that weapon with him uh, but overall a nice solid figure for sure real real Hardcore fans of Chaser might want to wait for a figure art version that's bound to look even better than this one. But um, if you're just kind of collecting the gimmick figures and you're on the fence about this guy, uh, he's definitely worth taking a look at. So thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.